Hi, this is Daniel and today I'm going to show you how you can easily set up and use the replay buffer feature inside the OBS studio. Okay, so as the OBS is already running, we can simply go for the settings, output and here make sure that the output mode is set up to advanced. Now we will go for the replay buffer, enable the replay buffer, that means check the square and then set up the maximum replay time. This is basically how many seconds to the past you will capture whatever is happening in your OBS. Basically what replay buffer feature is doing is the running at the back side of your PC and anyway you will hit the shortcut that you will set for the replay buffer to save the replay. It will save the past 20, 30, 60 or even more seconds depends on what you will set here into your PC. That means everything what was happening in your OBS screen will be saved as a separate video. Okay, so in our case, let's say that I would like to capture the previous 30 seconds of my stream or whatever. And as you could see, as I change this number to the higher, the estimated memory usage increased as well. This memory usage mainly depends on your recording settings and on the length of the maximum replay time. That means watch out to not use all of your memory of your PC for just the replay buffer. Okay, so as we set up the maximum replay time, we want to go back to recording settings and set up everything as per the best OBS settings as the replay buffer will capture the video in those recording settings. So we'll set up the recording path and everything else just as it should be. Okay, so those were my best OBS recording settings. Now I will hit apply and when I will go back to replay buffer, now you can see that we don't see there anymore the amount of memory it's using, but we can actually choose the maximum memory that it will use for us. It's caused because previously we were using CBR, what means constant bitrate rate. That means OBS knew how big would the 30 second video be in case the bitrate is stable. But as we are now working with the CQP, that means the bitrate could be higher or lower depends on what is happening on the screen. And thanks to this, the OBS is not sure how much of the memory it wants to use. That means it let us to choose how much of the memory we would like to use. So in our case, let's try how much it would be for the CBR and let's say 15,000 bitrate. In this case, we would need around 54 megabytes of the memory. That means that in case we are going with the CQP and level 16, we want to use around the twice of that amount. That means we want to use that 108. Just like this, apply and let's continue. In your video, make sure that your base canvas resolution is the same as the output scaled resolution. In case not, so let's say that there would be 720p, make sure that you are using the lamp source 36 samples downscale filter okay none of those about use the lamp source this is the best scaling filter but in our case we want to go with the 1920 to 1080 that means the canvas will be same as the output apply even though we didn't change anything and we are going to hotkeys here we want to look for the replay buffer and we want to choose the hotkey we will use in case we want to save those 30 seconds of what was happening on our screen. In my case, let's say that I would like to use the F3. That means as soon as I will hit the F3, it will save my previous 30 seconds into folder I chose in the output recording settings. Now I will hit the apply and OK. And that's basically it. Now when I will go for my, for example, gameplay scene so that we will have at least something on the background what we would capture, I will hit start replay buffer. And always when this will run on the background, whenever something crazy will happen on my stream or in my video or anything else simply during my game, I can simply press the F3 and the previous 30 seconds of my video will be saved into the folder that I chose in the settings. As I mentioned for you already, as you could see in the output, we set up the 108. Basically, in case you would, for example, choose there 60 seconds and you see that every time you capture your video, it has only 55 seconds or 58 seconds or whatever else what is less than you said. That might be caused because you chose the maximum memory lower than it actually should be. So in that case, if that happens to you, you want to increase the maximum memory usage or simply decrease the recording settings. But in my case, it should be everything okay now. Okay, so now I believe the replay buffer is already running more than 30 seconds. That means as soon as I will hit the F3, this new video just appeared 
and this is our replay from what was happening on the screen in the previous 30 seconds. As you can see, it's only 28 seconds long. That means I could play with the maximum memory usage a little bit more and set it on a little bit higher level. Okay, so this is how you can easily set up and use the replay buffer feature inside the OBS Studio. In case you would like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like as well. But for today, that's really all. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you all at the next video. Goodbye.